So good morning, it is Friday, April 26th. It's almost 6 a.m. And today I'm going to be participating in what is called the Colonel Darby 40 miler. This is, um, this is a event at Lake Garda where you get to walk, run, or ruck uh, the eastern side of the lake for 40 miles from Peschiera del Garda up to uh, Torbol. So today I'm going to be doing that and I plan on rucking the whole time. This is definitely the longest ruck I've ever done. Uh, this summer I am training for the Nijmegen, which is uh, a four day ruck in the Netherlands. So this is one of the events that I signed up for to help uh, prepare for that. And this is definitely the longest ruck I've ever done, so it definitely will be a challenge for me today. But so far it looks like there's maybe 100 or uh, 150 people that are here um, getting ready to start. It starts at 6 a.m. So you have 12 hours to go 40 miles. Uh, so for me, I think I calculated my pace. I'd have to go 18 minutes per mile. Um, so that is a pretty good pace. So we'll see how it goes today. Definitely this is supposed to be a beautiful, uh, beautiful walk. The scenery here at Lake Garda is just stunning. This is my first time here, but I plan on bringing you guys along with me on this uh, adventure. Everyone's getting lined up. It's gonna start here in a few minutes. So I've just finished the first hour of this march so far. I'm feeling good. And the scenery here has just been outstanding. It's so beautiful. Got to see the sun come up. And so far this route has gone right along the lake the whole time. So I've had beautiful views of all the boats and, and docks and stuff like that. So, so far it's been a great, great march. So I'll go ahead and tell you some of the history behind uh, this this march is named after Colonel Colonel William Darby. He was a army officer during World War II. He was actually killed in action here in Italy at Lake Garda at uh, Torbole. So he was the founding commander of the first uh, Army Rangers Battalion. Uh, so his rangers they called the Darby Rangers were involved in the Allied invasion of Sicily during World War II and so now the Army Rangers are very well known and very well respected in uh, the US Army and the military community so on April 30th 1945 uh, Colonel Darby was um, giving orders to uh, his men and a our, our artillery shell landed um, right in that area and killed him and wounded several others. The mission that he was involved in leading was called Task Force Darby, which was supposed to push the rest of the uh, Germans out of the area surrounding Lake Garda. And two days after that operation, uh, the Germans surrendered in Italy. So this march is held every year in memory of Colonel Darby but also of the uh, 25 10th Mountain Division soldiers who drowned in Lake Garda. Also on the same day, uh, 30 April 1945, they were doing a mission where they were taking boats across the lake. Uh, the engine in one of the boats uh, died, stopped working, a storm came and ended up sinking that boat. And all but one of the soldiers on that boat drowned and their bodies have never been found. The boat has been found, uh, I think in like 2018. Uh, they used like a sub or something to find the boat at the bottom of, of Lake Garda, but the bodies of the soldiers were never found.
Now I've just gone about five and a half miles. Now I'm walking through the town of Lanzize and it is very beautiful. Got to see, uh, like the, walk by the, um, the church, go through the cobblestone streets. And so that was cool to get a different change of scenery. So I'm right at the three hour mark and I just went through the city of Garda. They had an outdoor flea market going on so I wanted to stop and get some food and stuff but had to keep on going. So feel, still feeling pretty good and yeah the scenery is still still great. Now we're back by the by the water. So ended up taking a wrong turn after you get past Garda. Instead of following the beach to the gravel, uh, you follow the road and go uphill. Um, luckily there are some people ahead of us that turn around and told us to go back. So, doing that now. So at this uh, circular tower is where you turn right and go up the hill. found this really nice uh, overlook and so you can look out and see all of Garda and all the, uh, the mountains it's really really beautiful so now just stopped changed out my socks and been going for about three hours and 45 minutes so now it's starting to get a little warmer and uh, definitely starting to drink some water, eat some snacks to keep the energy up, um, but still feel pretty good. After passing through the city of Garda, the route changed and switched to going on the main road. So this was kind of intimidating as traffic was just going right next to us, um, but I tried to stay as far to the edge of the road as I could and get down to the walking paths or get down to the edge of the lake uh, whenever possible. So it's almost been six hours and definitely really feeling it now. Just the last hour or so was through gravel and grass so it really slowed me down and wore me out. Now I'm back on pavement, but definitely really feeling it now. Probably close to halfway there, so whew, it's going to be tough finishing this out. Okay, so I just passed through the town of Castelletto, I think. So a lot of people were stopping in having food and drinks and stuff like that, but it is now like 12.40. So it says it takes about five more hours, but I don't want to uh, to mess myself up and you know end up going slower and then missing the time cut off. So I'm just gonna try to push on and I'll get uh, food and drinks to celebrate at the end took some Tylenol and ibuprofen and had some some snacks so that has got me feeling a whole lot better than I did before. About an hour ago I was doubting myself and I was like I don't think that I can finish but now I'm feeling a lot better. I think that I can I think that I can do it.
on this ruck march, there were hardly any water stations set up. There was mainly just one water and snack station that was set up close to the end of the march. So if you wanted uh, any water or snacks, you would have to stop at a restaurant or a cafe at one of the many towns that we walk through. On this march, if you needed to use the bathroom, there were a few public restrooms along the lake, but they were very scarce. So your best bet was to find a restaurant or just find a secluded area away from the road to use the restroom. Just stopped to take a break at this uh, paragliding uh, landing spot. So that was kind of cool to get to watch the paragliders land as I was taking a break. Okay, so it's about three o'clock. So I've been going for nine hours and just stopped to change my socks for the third time and uh, really starting to feel it, but hopefully I think I can make it just in time to finish before 6 p.m. Right now I think I'll have about 15 to 20 minutes to spare by the time I make it to the end. And right now I definitely have at least two blisters on each foot, so it's really hurting, but luckily the Tylenol has kind of helped. finish the part with the tunnel so make sure you have a reflective belt or a headlamp or something just to make yourself more visible and be safer. I made it to the town, so now I just gotta get to the church, the finish point. So the scenery here is just stunning. Man, this, this city is so beautiful. The snow-capped mountains on either side. This is, this is really awesome. This is a perfect scenery for this, for this event. Okay, the kids and I have made it to the end of the ruck march. We are going to stand here and wait until we see Lucas finish. There's a ward ceremony at 1700, so we're going to try and catch that. I don't know if Lucas is going to be back by then, but if not, he is at least going to finish on time, which is at 6 o'clock, 1800. So I just made it to the finish line. I had about 30 minutes to spare, and so the ticket that I that I got uh, with my bib, uh, you can turn that in, and you're el eligible to buy a coin. It's a special coin just for this event, and so I think that that's really cool. Coins are a big deal in in the, in the army. Uh, just you have them as like a, uh, a keepsake, you know, to remember uh, important things that happened during your career. So this was a very, very challenging event. 
Um, this year I, I did ruck it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that next year. Maybe next year I'll just walk it um, because the last half of it, man, I was really hurting. Luckily, um, Tylenol and ibuprofen can work wonders. Um, but it was, the scenery was incredible. It, it was very, very beautiful. I think that is what made it worthwhile. Um, I will, will say that it's different from some of the other ruck marches that I have done and that it, since you are actually rucking on the road while there's traffic, that can be a little um, sketchy. You know, if you're not comfortable with that, then maybe you shouldn't do this ruck because uh, there are times whenever cars were kind of going next to me just a few feet away. And if you're anxious about that, then maybe this it's not for you. But this is definitely a gorgeous area of Italy, and I really enjoyed it. So I think next year, if I do do it again, I'd like to have some other people do it with me. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos about rucking and traveling around Europe.